okay that was mm, finally and the mc here oh my god he is so tricky well moses bliss and his wife had their white wedding today their church wedding in ghana it was a well attended event in fact if you ask me the nigerian gospel industry music industry moved to ghana today like who wasn't there including pastor nathaniel bassi and the smile on moses face when he saw his beautiful bride hey hey i have never seen such a lover boy i mean his wife is such a lucky woman because he is madly in love with her and it's pretty evident in the way he stares at her well before we get down into how everything went down in church let's take a look at few interesting moments with some of your favorite gospel artists whenever missy chingu and choma jesus meet it's always an entire vibe i love the bond that share such a beautiful friendship <laughs> these two need their own reality show. <laughs> i laughed really hard watching this Motherhood looks really good on Missy. In case you are wondering the money in dark shade, that's Missy Chingo's husband. I love how the gospel industry in Nigeria are so close knit. No single bone of jealousy among them, regardless of your tribe and religion or even denomination. I give you this ring. I give you this ring, my words, as a token and memorial, as a token and memorial that I have taken you, that I have taken you to be my lawful wife. Why be my lawful wife? Why? I call upon all I call upon all persons here present. I call upon all persons here present. To witness that I to witness that I very wise God. Like do take like you. Do take you most yeah, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for and I will create this moment one more time, but there is someone that I have to give him an elevated moment to. So I will open up the dance floor again. In the Indeed, Miracle know the tired Jesus, and you would have Missy Chingo and her husband with the couple. I love everything about this wedding. Just look at how they put Missy on the spot. And I definitely love that she rose to the occasion and took charge. <laughs> So let's see how her performance went. Indeed, it can only be God. So guys, who else is left among the gospel artists? I don't think Frank Edwards is married with the whole love songs that guy sings. I love that the girl has friends who share similar ideologies with her. You can tell that they are huge fans of gospel songs. Imagine playing these songs for my friends. So be like, eh? I beg who sings this one? Eh, maybe I shall care with this. Hmm. Children of the world.
to it perfect for me is a personal song. Wow. Wow. So you today, to the end of this, Moses will use songs to finish this book. I am not even complaining because I definitely love it for her. And this is me saying amen to the words of the song. And I am praying that God confirms his words, that he never relents, that he continues to show her so shower her with so much love, especially considering the fact that she had to leave her home country to be with him. So, yes, he owes her extra love not just anyhow love like extra extra yes so i said so a resounding amen continue to show her off moses To be very honest guys, I didn't know I will be owing so hard to Adada wedding after Kule Remy's because Kule Remy's wedding was also this sweet because the both had amazing chemistry. Indeed, God makes everything beautiful in his own time. Mado, perfect for each other. They are really perfect for each other, to be very honest. Her mom is smiling. So guys, you just watched the bride's father handing her over to the groom during their marriage, their wedding reception. Guys, you know the beautiful thing about this union is i love that i understand the girl is the only girl she's the only daughter and her father loves her so much he said he named her after his mother and that's because of how much he loved he loved his mom but then guys the thing is i loved i don't know i'm really shocked i would really like to hear from like i would like to listen to her interview to know how she was able to convince her parents because i mean she is living ghana like she's not even married to a Ghanaian. it's such a big deal or maybe it isn't in ghana but in nigeria an only daughter hmm, parents will most likely want you to marry within at least because they'll be like oh i don't want you to go far but i mean she is coming to nigeria not even lagos so far far a quiet bomb and that's why each time they get emotional i kind of get them because i mean my this girl is going far but the good thing is i'm glad that they know that moses loves her a lot and she is definitely in safe hands and to me that is what matters in every union I do solemnly and faithfully look at And I do put some more faith. So here we have the beautiful Missy Chingwo and her husband, the newest mommy in town. She has a baby. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh. So we have the bride's mom veiling the bride just before she stepped out to the church. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus is looking after me. From the way the bride's father and her mother are dressed, you can tell they are 
deeply into tradition yes you can tell they are staunch Ghanaians. ashant i had i mean i asked about her tribe i got like three different answers for christ's sake where exactly what tribe is she exactly see how he's smiling <laughs> this guy <laughs> this guy they do like say never see woman before chinek and uh, guys which guy love with this one um or this night eh, i want to just be a mosquito in their hotel room hey One thing Nigerian gospel singers have in common is that, is that they sure know how to marry beautiful women. And one more thing, I love the fact that they marry women who are just like them. Like you wouldn't see a gospel singer marrying a body because of course they understand that their lifestyle differ. And I love that they are not so judgmental. They're really open, they meet people and mingle with even people you will call sinners. People now, ah, this person is your friend. Like I saw a couple of people that were on Moses train and I'm like, wow, are they really that close? So we have Warwick Pekin. I don't know who is beside her. This one, Baza Queen, eh? say she, ah, she well she deserves she looks absolutely amazing and she has been in Ghana since Wednesday so we have Nollywood actress Peggy Ovie. Yes, yeah, she was present, but she has not been seen like everywhere and anywhere. Guys, to be very honest, there's something about this lady. She doesn't really, really, she doesn't look really happy. I feel like her husband doesn't treat her right. Well, I may be wrong. So let's take a look at the moment some of your favorite gospel artists performed together, as expected, of course. <laughs> Okay, we have Vicky James and Dr. Romel on the dance floor. We have Medlin Boss and Ife of Diary of a Ninja Girl. Hmm. I suspect Moses was telling her this year will not pass you by. And uh, we have Aiko Sakyodua who served as the event host. <laughs>
society hotspot wishes the couple a happy married life and i bless their bed tonight may they break their bed because i mean they have waited for so long and they deserve all the mequarism to do i'll watch her face tomorrow if she's still shy during the thanksgiving service mm, fingers crossed